Hey, what's up, everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 Weekly Vendor Reset. Well, guys, let's just go take care of these vendors real quick. Uh, I'm actually not leveling up my character or anything. Like you can see in previous week, my video always same level. Now also I'm same level. I'm not really playing the game, honestly. I'm playing some other games. We'll make some different content, but I'm just not feeling right now. Just, you know, trying to figure out which game I would do. So yeah, let's get let's let's just see the window. So we have a force multiplier over here, as you can see the backpack, uh, perfect combined arm. So I would definitely recommend you guys to buy it, especially for new players. If you're trying to make a skill build or a hybrid build, this will be very very useful uh, because this is the only talent that does a lot of damage uh, as a skill. You know, thirty percent. Plus you have skill haste here already. You can change the weapon handling to skill damage. Should be really really good. Next we have a Tommy gun, Tommy gun over here with killer talent, uh, six point five percent of health damage. 15% crit chance and 10.1 SMG damage. Pretty decent one. Change the health damage to damage to target out of cover. Maybe optimize it. A pretty high hitting SMG, I would say, with a nice RPM. And next we have the Honey Badger Assault Rifle with Killer Talent again. Nice. Okay. Uh, we have 5% damage to armor, 14% health damage, and 10.9% of assault rifle damage. Uh, yeah, pretty decent, uh, uh, you know, AR as well. So you can try it out. Next we have the M1911 Pistol with Steady Handed uh, Talent, 4% of damage to armor, 12.5% of pistol damage. Uh, Gila Guard Backpack with Adrenaline Rush Talent. We have uh, 15,191 health, 8.4% of hazard protection, 115,000, 448 armor. It's a pretty okay one if you're making in a high armor type of hazard build or something like that you can change the health to like crit damage and keep the hazard protection and that way you also have adrenaline rush so you can run like intimidate on a chest piece so it will be pretty good tanky type of a build yeah and if you have the uh, empress international chest piece with kinetic momentum 7.1 headshot damage 7.7 percent explosive resistance uh, offensive system mod which is 10.3 percent of crit damage a drone mod which is 4.2 percent of damage turret mod which is 4.2 percent of damage again and last we have a sticky launcher mod which is 4.9 percent of blast radius Alrighty guys, we're here at the clan's vendor, so let's take a look. We got a sacrifice chest piece. Oh, my friend's gonna be laughing at it. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got pretty decent status. Eh? Nice uh, high weapon damage. The headshot damage is pretty low. Uh, health here, so perfect glass cannon. Um, first of all, before you buy this, you gotta know what you're doing. Like seriously, this is perfect glass cannon we're talking about. Okay. So yeah, don't get wrong. I mean, this is pretty good in terms of damage, but then you're gonna take a lot of damage as well. I mean, it's not a great piece, but you can try it out. Don't complain if you die too much. If you're a new player, definitely don't run this uh, as your first build or something like that. Yeah, because you'll be very annoyed. You're gonna die a lot. And next we have uh, Aces and Aids backpack with 10.8% uh, weapon damage, 4,235 armor regen, foundry bulwark gloves with 132,290 armor, 4,130 armor regen, pretty decent one over here. Then you have your striker, uh, striker's holster with 9.9% weapon damage, 17.9 repair skill, black market M60 E6 LMG with future perfect talent, 9% headshot damage, damage to target out of cover, 9% and 11% of LMG damage. Uh, next we have the M249B uh, LMG with close and personal talent with 6% of damage to armor which is maxed out, damage to target out of cover 7%, 12.9% of uh, LMG damage, a circle of knee pads with 11.2% of weapon damage, 4.9% crit chance, 4005 armor regen, uh, Hana Yu mask with 6.9% explosive resistance, 8.9% of hazard protection, a P90 SMG with uh, reformation talent, 7% of crit damage, 17.5 crit chance and 10.5% of smg damage a fenris chest piece with focus talent 17.6% uh, repair skill 10.8% skill haste 12.3% weapon damage if this had like crit damage or crit chance or something like that it would be a really really good uh, chest piece i would say focus talent you know very underrated talent uh, then we have the uh, Y when wear mask with 10.9% of skill haste 3007 137 uh, armor regen, a defensive system mod which is 10.4 crit damage, defensive system mending mod which is 8.6% of uh, ensnare resistance, a defensive protocol resilience mod which is 8.5% of blind death resistance, and last we have a chem launcher mod which is 4.3% of duration, so that's it for clans vendor. Alrighty guys, we're here at the Theodore Selman, so let's take a look, we got a Fox's Prayer, nice, okay, we got, oh wait, we got skill damage on it, oh my god, actually I want this, it's a pretty pretty good one, I mean, yeah, I definitely buy it. Do I have space? Yeah, I do. Okay, I bought it. Nice. We got skill damage here, 7.5, 12.8% uh, weapon damage. The reason why I wanted the skill damage because I wanted to throw a Fox's Spray in a skill build and that damage to target out of cover, which is a multiplicative damage, will gonna multiply your skill damage as well. Yes. So it's a pretty good one. You can use it in a hybrid or something. 
And next we have the Tactical SASG 12K Shotgun with 11.5% shotgun damage, 8% damage to armor, 7.5% health damage, and perpetuation talent. The Police MK17 Rifle with 12.2 rifle damage, 12% of crit damage, 8% headshot damage, Optimus is the talent. The Gilligard uh, Gloves with 124,967 armor, 3,975 armor regen, 15,844 health. A Murakami uh, knee pads with 20% of repair skill, 4% of weapon handling, a defensive system mending mod which is 15,517 armor on kill, a secret mind mod which is 4.7% skill haste, a shield mod which is 4.1 deflected damage, a firefly mod plus 1 max target, decoy mod which is 6% of duration. Alrighty guys, we're here at the campus settlement, so the named item we have is a white death, that's a pretty good one. Uh, we have maxed out a rifle damage, maximum rifle damage, and of course the headshot damage. We have 2.2% of rate of fire, which you can change, of course. We have fast hands, which I would say it's okay for this maximum rifle because it takes a lot of time to reload this weapon, you know, 4.2 seconds, you can see. Uh, with fast hands, at least uh, you will be able to reload it quicker, although you do need crits on this. So if you're making like a crit rifle, I mean, maximum rifle build, definitely use this. And we have the classic M44 carbine maximum rifle with ignited talent, 6.5 crit chance at 95% headshot damage, 11.6 maximum rifle damage, MG5 LMG with 10.2% uh, LMG damage, 8% damage to target out of cover, 8.1 reload speed, unhinged is the talent, pretty good one, the stats are not that high but change the reload speed to damage to target out of cover, unhinged is a pretty solid talent, you can use it on MG5, it'll do quite a lot of damage, you have the China Light uh, mask with 8.2% status effect, 15.5 repair skill, a group of some uh, holster with maxed out repair skill there, 9.2 crit damage, 8.7 weapon damage, a utility protocol mod which is 16.2 repair skill, a chem launcher mod which is plus 1 ammo, hive mod with plus for stinger charges pulse mod is 8.9 duration and last we have a trap charge mod which is 4.3 percent of duration Alrighty, guys we're here at the dz east vendor so let's take a look we got a claws out okay nice we're claws out uh with hazard here 7.4 percent so if you're looking for a claws out definitely come and buy it it's a dark zone exclusive you need dz credit for that remember that it's a white and rare piece so yeah buy it if you don't have one uh, next we have the M Tactical, uh, sorry, M700 Tactical Maximum Rifle with Future Perfect Talent, 9.1 Accuracy, 94% Headshot Damage, 10.4 Maximum Rifle Damage, MG5 LMG with Max Start Damage to Target Out of Cover here, uh, Vindictive Talent, Health Damage there, and LMG Damage pretty low, uh, True Patriot Mask with 115,000, 204 Armor, 10.8% Crit Damage, Future Initiative Holster with 8.2 Status Effect, Empress International Mask with 8.5 Status Effect, wait what? Oh no, that's 2 and 5, okay, I got confused. But 3,975 armor regen. Fenris holster with 9.9 .9 weapon damage, 7.4 skill damage, 8.5 st uh, status effect. Utility system mod, which is 8.2 skill duration. Chem launcher mod, which is plus 1, 5.8% uh, of radius. Hive mod, which is plus 4 repair charges. Pulse mod, which is 6.4 uh, cone size. A trap uh, mod, which is 5.8% of shock radius. So that's it for DZ East. All right, guys, we're here in DZ South Vendor, so let's take a look. We got a... Oh, no. Oh, come on. I, I saw the SMG here, and I thought it's the apartment, but it's not. It's safety distance. It's not a Dark Zone exclusive. You can find it in open world, but uh, I need the apartment, man. So we got a perfect outsider talent here. 10% magazine size, 16.5 uh, crit chance, 8.5% SMG damage. Ah, oh, come on. MP5N SMG with perfectuation talent, 12.5% swap speed, 14.5 crit chance, 10.4 SMG damage. MK16 Assault Rifle with 12% Assault Rifle damage, 14.5 health damage, 8% crit damage, Sadie's talent. Military M9 Pistol with Max Dot Pistol damage, 4% crit chance, close in personal talent. Eclipse Protocol Backpack with 3,921 armor region. Hardwire Chest Piece with 16.4 repair skill. Murakami Backpack with Wicked talent. 8.5 status effect, 15,668 health. A wipe and wear chest piece with reassigned talent, 7.2% headshot damage, 15.2 repair skill. A protocol mod, offensive protocol mod, which is 6.9 headshot damage. A drone mod, which is 6.4 duration. A turret mod, which is 5.8% of skill haste. And last, we have a sticky bomb mod, which is 6.4% of damage. All right, guys, we're here at DZ uh, West Vendor, so let's take a look. We got a Culebra, a Ulibre, whatever. This is not a Darzen exclusive, or is it? I don't know. Uh, we got Perfect Jazz Hands Talent. Uh, okay, so 
Uh, yay, if you want it, the 3.9% rate of fire, damage to armor, 9%, 11.3 shotgun damage. The M870X Press Shotgun with Stadius Talon, 10.5 uh, magazine size, 8% of damage to armor, 9.5 shotgun damage. A lightweight M4 rifle with 10.1 uh, rifle damage, 12% crit damage, 13.2 swap speed, re, uh, steady handed is the Talon. A future initiative gloves with 10% of crit damage, tip of the spear, knee pads with 9% weapon damage, 4,367 armor regen, or Yoldi gloves with 10. 2 weapon damage, 5.5 weapon handling, 9.9 .9 skill haste, circle of knee pads with 10.9 weapon damage, 16.8 repair skill, 10.2% of crit damage, defensive protocol resilience mod which is 8.2 deserve resistance, a secret mind mod which is 6.3 health, a shield mod which is plus 4 damage bonus per enemy, firefly mod with 6.1% of damage, decoy mod which is 6% of duration, that's it for DZ West, let's go to New York. Alright guys, we're here at New York, a heavy settlement, let's take a look what Ray Benitez got for us. So we got Fall, Assault Rifle, Bread Basket Talent, 12.5 Swap Speed, 12% Health Damage, 11.2 Assault Rifle Damage, Infantry MG5 with 12% of LMG Damage, 8% of Damage to Target Out of Cover, 3.6% Rate of Fire, Bread Basket Talent, a lot of MG5s on sale this week. We got the uh, UIC-15 Rifle with 10.6 Rifle Damage, 12% of Crit Damage, 12.2 Swap Speed, Killer is the Talent, X45 pistol with finisher talent, 7% crit chance, 10.1 pistol damage, a white when wear chest piece with obliterate talent. Uh, we have uh, crit damage here, 9.8, 6.5 weapon handling. Hmm, it's it's kind of like a hybrid one, I would say. With crit damage, obliterate on white when wear. Hmm, it can change the weapon handling skill damage, you know? It's a hybrid one. And next we have uh, Empress International knee pads with 15.6% uh, uh, repair skill, 6.8% of explosive resistance, a Bellstone Armory mask with 133,159 armor. Wait, what? Uh, nah, I said it correctly. Okay, fine. 8% uh, of hazard protection, 7.2% of skill damage. For a second, I thought I read. Nah, nah, it's fine. Okay, we have 4.4% crit chance, a defensive protocol mod, which is 8.4% uh, of blind death resistance, uh, shield mod, which is 4.3 holds to regeneration, hive mod, which is plus 4 repair charges, uh, sticky mod, launcher mod, which is 4.8% of blast radius. That's it for Roy Benitez. Alrighty guys, we're here at the final vendor, so let's take a look. We got the CTAR-21 Assault Rifle with crit chance on it, 8% Vindictive Talent. Wish you had like damage to target out of cover would be nice, you know, or damage to armor. It's a pretty underrated weapon with high RPM here, you know. Uh, next we have the SR-1 Maxim Rifle with 11.6% of uh, Maxim Rifle damage, 87% headshot damage, 9.3 accuracy, preservation talent, Marine Super 90 shotgun with maxed out crit damage here, future perfect talent, custom PF-45 pistol with vindictive talent, that's a lot of vindictive talent, uh, with 6.5% crit chance, 10.4% pistol damage, uh, Bellstone Armory chest piece with spark talent, crit chance 4.1, status effect 9.5, 109 485 armor, a Eurector in Kaiser gloves with 7.2 headshot damage, 15,518 health, a Golden Gear holster with pretty low armor there, 96,000 you can say, 7.6% uh, of headshot damage, 16.7 repair skill, offensive system mod which is 7% of headshot damage, defensive protocol resilience mod which is 8.5 bleed resistance, uh, what is this, a uh, drone? No. No, it's a turret. Ah, come on, man. 4.2% of burn damage. I always get confused between those two. Okay, we got Firefly, 8.3 speed. And last, we have a trap mod, which is 5.8% duration. Oh, finally, it's done. Okay, good. Yay. Let's go play Jensen Impact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it for the weekly vendor here, guys. So, I mean, the vendor started pretty decently, I would say, especially for new players. There's a lot of things you can go and buy. Uh, the Dark Zone vendor also started uh, pretty okay. But then, I mean, I always think that the Dark Zone vendor should sell DZ exclusives only because it's a weekly reset. But, you know, I'm not a dev. You know, can you vote and make me a dev? Some, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> well, okay, so this is the vendor, okay? If you want something, if you're a new player, definitely buy it, I would say. Uh, there are some decent items for you. Uh, like, you know, there are a lot of new players on my back. I can see them, you know? So, yeah, that's basically for the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.